So, uh, 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 this is not exactly, uh, uh, or even not at all, a mathematical talk. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, uh, as you know well, uh, between uh, these two meetings, this one and the previous one, uh, we uh, uh, lost uh, Gilles Lachaud, who was the heart. Uh, and the beginning of uh, this conference. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, for me, uh, 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 for me, AGCT uh, should be called should be called Gilles Lachaud Conference. Uh, and uh, uh, um, and uh, as usual, when you remember something, uh, these are uh, uh, this is very personal. So uh, uh, I uh, knew Gilles Lachaud for about thirty years. Uh, so uh, to be precise, thirty years and one month ago, uh, I came to France for the first time. Uh, and uh, this was, uh, 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 before that, we communicated uh, with Gilles in writing uh, because he wanted me to come to the very first AJCT in 1987. So that happened to be impossible because of the Soviet regime who didn't let me out. Uh, and uh, uh, two years later, uh, 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 it uh, was already possible. Uh, the regime became less Soviet and much more weak. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, the first time I saw Gilles was at the entrance of Serum uh, in uh, uh, 1989. Uh, uh, so my taxi came. Uh, and uh, someone I didn't know before, because we, uh, uh, for the young, uh, I should say that there was no email. Uh, the letters uh, written by hand uh, were delivered by uh, post office. And uh, as far as, uh, again, uh, the life in the Soviet Union was concerned, each second, uh, each second letter was delivered. So that was quite a problem. Uh, uh, I called Gilles uh, before. Uh, to do that, I should go to the central post office of Moscow. Uh, and four minute talk uh, was a quarter of my month salary. Uh, so, uh, I, and uh, 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 so, so someone I have never seen before uh, rushed. Uh, to uh, uh, greet me, and that was the, my first meeting with Gilles. Uh, and uh, uh, Gilles' role in uh, French mathematics uh, uh, is very important because uh, um, uh, I knew from two sources uh, from. Uh, mathematicians and also from the staff of Serum, how much he boosted this uh, unit we are in. So uh, uh, even now, uh, yesterday, uh, I have talked with one of the, uh, with a lady who was in Serum when I came here for the first time. And so she, uh, she uh, reminded me of that and uh, uh, spoke, and she was here before, and spoke of how much the things have changed after Gilles became the director of uh, Serum. Uh, and then uh, he created 
the Laboratory of Discrete Mathematics. That was the beginning of 1990s. Uh, that was here on the campus. And uh, uh, it was uh, the uh, grain from which the Institute of Mathematics of Lumini grew several years later. Uh, uh, and uh, um, that's uh, uh, about uh, mm, uh, his, uh, uh, and uh, then he, he was the director of uh, uh, Institut de Mathématiques de Lumini, and uh, I should say that uh, to, uh, my impression is that he was the best of the directors uh, of uh, this institute, uh, and uh, he played uh, a very important role in my life because uh, uh, it's because of him that I'm working in France and not in the United States. Uh, and uh, 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 he was uh, uh, not just uh, mm, uh, a colleague of, uh, of mine, uh, nor even uh, uh, my guide in the French life, but uh, he was also uh, my close and uh, dear friend. Uh, so uh, we all know that uh, mathematicians are highly different. So there are uh, uh, mathematicians uh, with whom uh, it is very interesting to speak about mathematics. With Gilles, it was interesting to speak about everything. Uh, so uh, uh, he uh, was uh, interested in life, in philosophy, in books. Uh, to give you uh, just two examples, uh, uh, in his youth, when he was uh, still in Paris, uh, uh, he went to um, uh, 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 to some philosophy lectures of uh, a Russian uh, immigrant of white uh, immigra Russian immigration uh, 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 after the uh, revolution, uh, um, uh, uh, who, uh, who was a philosopher who, who influenced him a lot. And f uh, when we came here uh, for, uh, the first, uh, for the first time, me and Serge, uh, they, uh, he spoke a lot about uh, that uh, professor. Uh, then uh, his, um, uh, uh, he was naturally interested uh, in India, where he came many times. I think Suthir will speak more about that. Uh, he started to learn Sanskrit. Uh, he, uh, and um, in his personal life, uh, 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 he and his wife, uh, they adopted uh, a, an Indian orphan who is now already adult. She uh, um, has finished her education and uh, so he was the foster parent uh, of that young uh, Indian girl who became his daughter. Uh, now, uh, speaking about his interest in mathematics, uh, that was, high, uh, uh, he started uh, as a student of Roger Godman uh, in uh, uh, automorphic forms. Uh, and, um, uh, uh, then he changed uh, several uh, different subjects, and so uh, he, um, uh, of course, he studied everything that concerns algebraic geometry and coding theory. Uh, more algebraic geometry, I would say, than coding theory, but uh, and uh, geometry of finite fields was uh, and so on. But also, he uh, at some point he studied. Klein sales, which is a generalization of the continuous fractions. Uh, and uh, when he was already retired, uh, he did uh, 
um, a strange for me job for uh, the widow of his friend because his friend had a small enterprise uh, where he implemented uh, uh, periodic analysis uh, to something very concrete. Uh, and uh, uh, after he died, uh, there, were, uh, there was a pack of paper of about 200 pages, uh, and uh, Gilles deciphered it and uh, um, uh, helped the company to survive. Uh, now, uh, one thing that you maybe new and maybe not, and if not, uh, that's very important too, uh, that uh, there is a Greek mathematician named Diophant. Uh, and uh, this Greek mathematician has written a series of books. And uh, these books didn't survive to our time. Uh, and uh, there were if I'm not mistaken, I uh, check the numbers uh, uh, I give you. Uh, I'm not sure about them. There were about four books, uh, three or four books who, uh, that survived, and the rest was lost. Uh, and then a Paris historian uh, of uh, Arabic science and Arabic culture uh, 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 working uh, in uh, uh, Egypt, I think, uh, in, in a library found uh, something in Arabian uh, which was strange to him and definitely had to do with mathematics. So he showed it, uh, he uh, looked for a mathematician to show it to, and uh, uh, the result was uh, that seven volumes uh, uh, that partly coincided with those known in Greek, but uh, mostly not, uh, were, uh, were discovered. And uh, uh, then uh, he published it in French uh, with uh, uh, commands of Gilles Lachaud, and the commands are, roughly speaking, twice as thick, or maybe three times as thick uh, as the original text. Uh, and it's very interesting to read because the original uh, text of Diophant, what we know now as uh, uh, Diophant and uh, equations, uh, mostly of degrees two and three, uh, was pure algebra, algebraic, and there was no algebraic notation. So it, it's a text uh, where no, not a word is said about geometry. And of course, everything is interpreted uh, in terms either of um, uh, plane quadrics or of uh, singular plane cubics and things like that. And uh, the tangent and the second method uh, is seen there, so that's uh, what uh, Gilles did in history of mathematics. Uh, and um, now mm, I think that uh, uh, roughly uh, 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 speaking, uh, um, uh, well, and uh, uh, now uh, uh, I'm not going, and uh, there is no way to do it in the quarter of an hour that is left for me, uh, but uh, 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 about everything he did in mathematics. So I'll give you, uh, my idea is just to give you an impression of how we work together. So we have uh, co-authored just one article. Uh, it's here, it's published in uh, Krele in uh, 1997. Uh, and uh, the mm, history of this article is this, uh, that uh, 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 starting from mid 80s, uh, People uh, uh, got interested uh, in, uh, from even the beginning of 80s uh, in uh, the number of points on algebraic curves. And uh, the community uh, was mixed. There were many people, uh, there were some people who came from coding theory. There were many people who came from function fields. Uh, and uh, there were much less algebraic geometers. And at some point, I realized that uh, it is, um, uh, it's, uh, 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 that no one has ever asked a question of what happens with varieties of dimension greater than one. 
Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, I, uh, uh, I did what I could. Uh, 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 that was, uh, roughly speaking, taking the cream uh, uh, from the uh, milk that uh, you can take immediately. Uh, and I have written my first and only uh, article that is written in French with new co-authors. And of course, it was a terrible French. And um, uh, I should say that uh, uh, it's also to Gilles that I owe uh, uh, my uh, uh, French in the way that it's because of him that I started to learn it. Uh, and uh, he tolerated my French that uh, cons maybe consists uh, uh, where the quarter of the words was German and uh, the accent was so terribly British that uh, no one understood me. Uh, and uh, 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 so uh, I asked him to edit this paper. Uh, he did it uh, crossing out uh, well, each second sentence and rewriting it. Uh, and uh, I, I was curious why. And uh, at some points he explained to me that the, the grammar doesn't allow you to put the words in that order or something like that. And at some point I asked him, uh, why are you crossing this out? Is it bad French? He said, oh no, it's a very good French. So the uh, moment uh, your son breaks a glass, you use this style you use here. <laughs> uh, and he crossed it out as well. So, uh, and so uh, uh, after uh, that, we started to um, see what was done there. Uh, here I'll turn to mathematics. Uh, so, uh, for uh, uh, for a curve, so for curves, uh, you know it even better than me. The number of points is given by the formula, which is, uh, and here the sum is usually we write from one. To, to G, but I'll write from one to B1, B being the better number uh, of, uh, well, that is the nth one, and over an extension of degree n, so omega i to the power n. Uh, and, well, let me call it omega g, rather. Uh, and uh, where omega g is a root of unity. So I write it in, uh, and here, sorry, uh, you have q to the power n over 2. So I write it in this way. Uh, uh, that will be better for me. From this, you get the v-bound, which is n uh, smaller than or equal to q plus one plus two uh, square root of q times the genus. Uh, we knew uh, we, uh, we knew that this can be improved. That cell bound. Uh, you can put the integer part here, uh, and uh, then. Uh, the whole business at the, uh, be the beginning of 1980s started with the with uh, Ihara's remark that if you have roots of unity here, and if you want the maximal number of points, the, then the uh, roots should be near to. Sorry. Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, for you, you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. They are not. I mean that the absolute value is one. <laughs> yes, and uh, so if you want many points, they should be here. Uh, and then if you consider the points of the quadratic extension and two, they are squared, the 
come in this region, and since you have minus here, you get a negative number of points. So that's uh, uh, Harris remark, uh, uh, that, and uh, if you uh, uh, t take it uh, seriously uh, and uh, use the fact that uh, the number of points over the extensions, uh, any extension is always greater than or equal to the number of points over the ground field, uh, you get the uh, Drinfeld lattice bound that says that n is not greater than uh, square root of q uh, plus 1. Uh, Oh, sorry, min uh, plus or minus F? Minus, of course, minus, of course. Yes, uh, times the, g uh, the genus, which is the better number over 2, and plus small o of B1. Uh, that's asymptotic. Uh, and uh, uh, this is generalized. Uh, to, uh, instead, uh, 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 maybe I, I'm not going to write it. And then uh, we come from curves to varieties of larger dimension. So to, uh, uh, to, to write on the blackboard, uh, uh, um, it's easier for me to speak about surfaces, so, but everything I'm saying about surfaces uh, has uh, a natural generalization for any dimension. So what do we have for surfaces? Uh, we have again the, uh, the same formula, but the, same, uh, the formula will be that well, maybe I'm not even going to write it down, uh, but uh, here we have just one non-trivial cohomology, first cohomology. There we'll have the uh, first, second, and third cohomology with the duality between the first and the third, and uh, so you can write it out yourself if you wish. Uh, and uh, the V bound uh, is uh, uh, Q squared plus one, uh, and uh, here you, you get two terms, which are B1 times uh, Q3 to the uh, 3 half plus square root of Q, uh, and uh, plus a square root, of course, yes, it should be 2. Thank you. Uh, plus uh, B2 times Q. And uh, here, if we wish, uh, we also can put uh, the, uh, uh, we can ameliorate it in the way you did. Uh, that's uh, easy. Uh, but uh, then when we come to Drinfield Leduc analog, uh, we have, uh, the following problem, that this Ihara argument works for the odd cohomologies, uh, because to have many points, you need the point to be negative. Uh, for even cohomology, you when, when, uh, want your uh, 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 omega j's to be positive. They should be here. And of course, the square argument doesn't work anymore. And uh, so uh, uh, what uh, I did in that paper Gilles uh, edited uh, was that I have written out a formula, uh, an asymptotic formula, which is, I'll write it down, uh, but not in detail. So, uh, so uh, there is an epsilon one, I'll tell you what it is, times B1 over two, and plus Q plus square root of Q uh, plus one plus epsilon two times B2. And here, uh, the, the first question to ask is, I want a little O here, a little O of what? Uh, 
So what is going to go to infinity? So the natural thing would be the uh, Euler characteristic, but it doesn't work because B1 and B2 can grow and Euler characteristic can, can be very small. So uh, uh, it doesn't work. So uh, what is done, you take a stupid thing. You just want to say that either B1 or B2 should grow. So I write here B1 plus B2. Uh, and uh, this epsilon one is of the order of uh, q to the power minus one half, and this is to the uh, of the order of uh, q, also a negative power of q. Uh, I think uh, q to the power minus one, but I have forgotten. I can look it up later. Uh, anyway, uh, both epsilon one and epsilon two are, are written out explicitly. So uh, we, we knew, but the formula becomes too long. Uh, and uh, so, uh, uh, and uh, I proved that using the argument Drinfeld and Ledots used in their paper for curves. Uh, and of course, uh, thanks to Jean-Pierre Serre, uh, uh, we know that behind the, all these formulas, there are, there are explicit formulae. Uh, and uh, uh, you can use explicit formulae uh, for surfaces as well. Uh, and um, uh, so uh, uh, ex uh, explicit formula, uh, it uh, depends uh, on uh, uh, depends on uh, uh, a test function or a test sequence or something. So uh, to start with, uh, you need uh, a sequence of something which is doubly positive. So a doubly positive sequence is a sequence Vn uh, and greater than or equal to one uh, with two properties. First of all, all Vn's are positive. And next, uh, the transform one plus twice the sum of Vn cosine and theta uh, should be from one to infinity. Uh, should be positive uh, for any value of the angle theta. So uh, this is called doubly positive sequences. Uh, and uh, to consider, and uh, uh, now uh, uh, starting from this, this is the work with Gilles, where uh, Gilles' rule uh, was very important. Uh, and uh, first, uh, he started to uh, uh, rewrite what is known about explicit formulas in this case. Uh, and uh, 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 we found out that consider such sequences, consider uh, positive harmonic functions on the disk. So you take the unit disk and you consider harmonic functions on it. You can consider instead of harmonic functions on the same disk, you can consider just holomorphic functions. Uh, and you can take a circle and on the circle you can consider measures. Uh, and uh, for each of this, there is a notion of being doubly positive. Uh, and uh, for, especially for measures, uh, it's extremely classical. It's what people called uh, doubly positive kernel or, or positive kernel in, in the 19th century. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, our work uh, was like this, that uh, every day, Gilles would come here and go to the library. Uh, in the library, uh, he started, uh, he would uh, read uh, the 
uh, some uh, book analysis uh, of the uh, 19th century, and uh, uh, there he would find a kernel. So the names uh, uh, are, uh, uh, there are Fair, Fair uh, Colonel, Jackson Colonel, De La Vallée Poussin uh, Colonel, Jacobi Colonel, and so on. And each kernel gives you a test function, and each test function gives you a bound. And uh, now I'll draw uh, the result, and uh, I'll mention one kernel more uh, after that. Uh, well, maybe like this. Uh, uh, so uh, the result, uh, now how, how do you express the result? So uh, for curves, uh, it's just uh, linear, that is uh, the asymptotic question about curves uh, is how many, uh, uh, what is the ratio of uh, the number of points to the genus? Uh, for uh, surfaces, there are two parameters, B1 and B2. And because of that, it should be drawn like this. So this is B1 plus B2. Uh, well, sorry, I'm wrong. This is B1 ratio to B1 divided by B1 plus B2. So it's from zero to one. Uh, and uh, here you write uh, the number of points divided by B1 plus B2. And you mean the asymptotics, otherwise you have three parameters. So you divide and you go to, to infinity. And so the picture is like this. Uh, uh, you have, well, maybe I look it out. I have a graph, in, we have a graph in this paper for Q equals two. And the general behavior is the same. Uh, and we have other graphs as well. So the uh, bound, I draw the elementary bound, so to say. Uh, it goes like this. It's good when B1 is, uh, uh, no, I'm wrong. Um, yes, it goes like this. Uh, now, uh, the uh, uh, bound of, this is two. Uh, the bound, uh, uh, now you, are, you may be interested in the lower bound. So an easy example gives you something like this as the lower bound. And uh, each kernel gives you a line. So each kernel gives you a line. And uh, so the, uh, the V bound goes like this. Ser bound goes like this, and then you start uh, other things. So uh, first, uh, at the very beginning, you can do no better than, than we. Uh, then, uh, well, sorry. Uh, yeah, then, uh, uh, then there is another line that goes slightly better. Uh, that corresponds to some kernel. Then there is another line that corresponds to another kernel. And so you do it many, many times, in fact, infinitely many, and at the end, you take the envelope, and the envelope goes like this. This is a broken line that goes like this, becomes smoother and smoother, and uh, ends somewhere here. Uh, and so uh, that's, uh, what we knew, and uh, the last remark is that so we used many classical kernels, but we also used what we call uh, a Sterlet kernel, because Joseph Osterlet, just before we started to do that, uh, he treated the following question about curves, that given a genus, uh, given the number of points, what is the smallest genus that you can guarantee that the number, uh, there exists a curve with that number of, uh, with at least that number of points uh, of that genus? And so, uh, 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 when we speak about n over g, 
uh, there's just one parameter, and here we have two parameters, n and g, and because of two parameters, you uh, can, should use some test functions for two parameters, and exactly the, the same functions you can use in this case. And my time is out, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, uh, the, the memory of Gilles is always with us, uh, and uh, I propose further on to call this conference uh, Gilles Lachaud Conference, and uh, uh, there is uh, a memory book where each of you who knew Gilles can write down something about him. So uh, it was started the day of his, fu uh, of his funeral, uh, then uh, it was here in the laboratory and people continued to write into it, and so I leave it on this table and everyone one is uh, invited and welcome to write down something about Gilles. So uh, that's it.